my legal patent as a precognition machine. I was designed to predict the exact cause, time, and place of one step, a rather morbid function, I grant you, which is precisely why I was set on family fun novelty mode when sold to the Wonderville Traveling Fairground. Turns out, being told the time and place of your death in front of your family with a mouthful of corn dog at a fairground is the very opposite of fun. <laughs> I can even predict my own demise. I always could. Tonight, in this warehouse, in a little over an hour. Meet my executioner. <laughs>
beside him a naked child, wandering through the wilderness, clutching in my hands my wounded, fragile heart. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Drum circle. 
circles and Marxist parables. Oh, Ocean could not shake the feeling that she was the white sheep of her family. It was only at the age of eight when she found amongst her parents' record collection an album called Up With People. <laughs> the cloying positivity of this pro-capitalist gaggle of teen crewers brought tears to her eyes. Perhaps the peppiest thing Caliber has ever produced. High school president, straight A student, Ocean O'Connell Rosenberg, the most successful girl in town. Judges, student body, colleagues, friends, ominous novelty machine. I had a speech prepared for this very occasion, but I simply cannot read it. How could she have speech for this? I am just going to speak from my heart. I have known all of these folks since pre-K. Constance Blackwood, my BFF, my best friend forever. Ocean, she Don't interrupt me. Constance is the salt of our earth, our merry mainstream, looking for her Joe six-pack. I mean, sure, she has some serious self-esteem issues, why wouldn't she? But that's why we formed an improv duo as a confidence-building exercise. Sound off. Unlock the power of positive. You pop! <laughs> we get pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> Constance Eleanor Blackwood, you know I find the word crazy offensive. Oh, well, that's why Ocean scripts all of our improvs in advance. <laughs> my time, Constance, my time. Look, I've seen enough reality TV to get what you want us to do here. Who's the best? I mean, sure. Grades, humanitarian efforts, extracurricular activities, spiritual mastery of both Judaism and Catholicism, nail my confirmation and my bar mitzvah in one week. And I'm not even bragging about that because it's against my Buddhist beliefs. <laughs> I am the best here by any metric of society. I get that. But if that is how work is measured, I want no part of it. Look, some of us are left wing and some of us are right wing. But the last time I checked, it takes two wings to fly. Oh. We are a family. We are a community. We are the world.
time to say that whoever is brought back to life will need a unanimous vote from each and every member of the choir. <laughs> Halloween. 
I always chickened out. And I'd go with something like C-3PO. But in my heart, I was Lola, Lola, dressed up as C-3PO. That was always my Halloween costume subtext. <laughs> Mom tells me I've got to try to blend in. So I really tried hard to dial it back. I mean, I had to. We live in a town where every year on July 11th, when 7-Eleven gives out free Slurpees, it's like seriously the major cultural event of the year. I'm not even making a joke right now. It's like a Slurpee Woodstock. I was born in the wrong town, the wrong country, the wrong era. I wanted to feel, I wanted to love, I wanted to have philosophical discussions with a starving poet wearing a beret till sunrise, underscored by a monkey playing the accordion. <laughs> What's this? I was hoping you could tell me. No. I worked at the Taco Bell in the food court in the Mega Mall just outside Uranium City. <laughs> I mean, I had to. We had no money. And I was saving up to move to France. They named a meal after your passing, the Noel Gruber Hungry Hombre meal. They catered your funeral for free. They even played Christina Aguilera's beautiful on the bagpipes. <gasps> I only said I liked that song once, ironically. <laughs> a joke was my final song. All those hours wasted in that horrible mall dreaming of. I feel this is a perfect occasion for a song about affordable Mexican cuisine. Cue the mariachi band. <laughs> I don't want to sing a song about that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If he doesn't want to sing, I will, I will. Tabernacle, can't you see I'm having a moment here, you horrible stuff? In my life, I was Noel Gruber, who worked at the Taco Bell and the Mega Mall in Uranium City, Saskatchewan. But in my dreams, I played a different role. I was Monique Chabot from France, a traveling chanteuse, chanteuse, entertaining the crowds by day and swindling them by night. A carny with a heart of black charcoal. Welcome to this wicked festival. We're singing, dancing, then delight and cry. Meet Amelie, a moral acrobat. The air will pick your pockets, keep alive. <laughs> Jean Jacques, a juggler with a nasty streak. That's the who crosses faded with the black. I have no idea where to find him, officers. But if you do, please mention that I'd like to have her turn the pretty night that I ducked and I bit him back.
away. Tell him that like him I choose to burn out rather than fade away. Drag racing came from a 
muscle car stayed for fashion. And sassy quips. Enough! Let's get this party started. Make money. Make rain. Misha Machinsky, born August 18th. Leo, sign of aggression. Favorite ride? The beer garden. Misha was conceived in a little town outside Odessa, in Ukraine, by a factory worker named Tamara. His mother, after being part of a cleanup crew in Chernobyl, was dying of prolonged exposure to uranium. Wanting her son to be safe, she put him up for adoption. Forging his birth certificate, she claimed he was two years old and recently potty trained. When Misha came to Canada, his adopted parents were surprised to see their toddler had a five o'clock shadow and a slight trace of alcohol on his breath. They put him in the basement, and his adopted mother would prepare food and leave it for him on the top of the stairs. On the rare occasion he would run into his new parents, the mother would weep, and the father would shoo him away like a horse glove. So began an inexhaustible rage. Misha turned to the last bastion of pure strength and masculinity in society, self-aggrandizing commercialized hip-hop. <laughs> this is how Misha became the angriest boy in town. Yo! Party all night. We run at a cookie 
so we step for a bite. Now it turns into the lot of the Hard Rock Cafe. Here come the hotties, here come the ballet. Front of the line, we don't need no ID. We'll do the club where the rich kids go. You sweet little honeys all checking out my flow. All kinds of hotties from all around the world that I don't spare of eyes. Can I see this
and who now plays accordions like world's most celebrated accordion player. Whatever the heck that dude's name is. I don't think people can handle what I have to say. Just go ahead. It's fine. Okay. I guess you could say I'm pretty banging on another planet. Lo, I'm the prophet from the Zalarian star cluster. Supreme being those that evolved from cat. There's seven suns on planet Zolar, so the gravitational pull makes everything seven times more banging. <laughs> Bang girl. Bang E. Bang and Neri. Who even are you right now? I'm telling you, Mom Love Drum. I'm just swinging!
five octaves, middle C. <laughs> Incredible, peace was restored. I guess that's what happens when you're swinging, facing.
new song we sing for birthdays. And the quite as scary the new birthday song. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. This is the new song we sing for birthdays, bouncy and merry, and not quite as scary the new birthday song. It's a cupcake <laughs> for you. about that 
stuff, like ashamed. At the cafe, I would catch myself looking at my mom, thinking, what a loser. A stupid, dead-end loser in a stupid, dead-end town. My parents were good people, and all I could do was think horrible things about them. But I just got so angry that I was born in the only family in Uranium that raised their kids to think that it was okay to do your working living and dying there. And it caught all kinds of poisons after that. And then I rode the cyclone with the other kids in the choir. And that's when the accident happened. We were at the top of the loop when the roller coaster made this screaming metal sound. Sparks were shooting all over the place. And then the screaming and the sparks, they just stopped. There was this, this weightlessness. My heart jumped a gazillion beats a second, but I didn't scream like the other kids, no. I was just soaking it all in, because on a certain level, it was so rad. Sailing through the air upside down, you could see all the other rides. And it was like something unlocked in me. All this love and feeling for everything. Images and this feeling flooded into me, like, like climbing back in my bed in the morning and feeling the heat lift over my body. Hanging upside down on the monkey bars until my head starts to tingle. <laughs> Smelling chippy markers, playing music and dancing around my room before going out to a party pretending like I'm going to have the perfect time. Finishing an essay, not doing a knot, pizza night, Halloween, watching my baby brother dancing to Abba, being in the choir at the, at the height of a hallelujah chorus and feeling all the voices rattle in my bones. I started laughing like a crazy person, <laughs> giddy with endorphins, all this love for everything. Dancing leprechauns, unicorns, whirling rides, streams of chocolate, flashing lights. There's no shame in loving my small town. The best years that happened to me happened in uranium. It took a horrible accident for me to realize how wonderful everything is.
shall have the final vote. But I thought we all had to vote on that. That's what you told us. This is a test. I've decided the one will come down to the one with the highest grade point average. You are the winner. <laughs> but that doesn't strike me as very fair. In five minutes, all bets are off. What happens in five minutes? My appointment with a rat named Virgil. And then my death. After that, I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 no. We're going to honor the original agreement. We will all vote on who comes back. What's that? The other side. You merely walk in. It's easy. Just don't look back. I don't mean to rush you, but time is pressing. Look, if you could kindly just step off for like three seconds. The one who wants to win it the most shall redeem the loser. You knew all along I could never do it. What? Choose myself. It, it shouldn't be me. We all die young. And to say that we died young, we all died needlessly. And that is to discount the years we had and the experiences we had. I mean, I would take my 17 years over nothing. Who do I vote for? The one who can't remember any of it. We had a life and she did it. That's my final. Motion carried. <laughs> Democracy rocks. As you wish. Be you. Penny Savannah Lamb, born April 7th, Aries, the lucky nature. It's not a game, maybe that's news, cause no one will win here, and no one can lose, there's no one to measure. Thousands of human fortunes. 
My final insight is... Your lucky number is seven. You will soar to great heights. Be sure to ride the cyclone. Everything you shared, and it's everything that seems so.